Advantages of using diffraction grating. Why we use diffraction grating or paint transmission grating? We compare the pattern between the one that's formed by the double slit and the diffraction grating. You will find that the double slit, even the light is spread out, but it just spread at a very small position. But for the grating, is widely spread, and it can give a much sharper and brighter pattern than the one that we can observe for the double slit interference pattern. Okay, and because of this, okay, so we can have a larger angular separation. What is the angular separation? Means the angle theta. Okay, as we have calculated for many many times, the angle theta. This is the angular separation. Okay, so it is much helpful for us. Okay, because it can measure the Wavelength of light more accurately. So let's see an example to compare. If we direct the same light passing through the transmission grating and the double slit, so let's see what will happen. Okay, so suppose we have four hundred nm, one passing through the double slit and the other one passing through the grating, for the same distance between the slit and the screen. Okay, so we compare the standard double slit and then the other grating here. Okay, so let's consider the double slit first. For the double slit, we have the double slit equation delta y equals to lambda d over a. So we can substitute the values here, and we can find the distance p marked. On the figure, okay, which is the the okay the two delta y, okay, the position of the second bright fringe. So this is the p is equal to the two delta y, okay. So we if we want to find the p, we have to times two for it, okay, because this is the second bright fringe, so it's the second order, okay. So we can find that okay, the value is like this, a. We convert it to the units that we usually use. Okay, then you should aware it's just mm. Okay, it's two point six seven nm mm uh, millimeter. And what if we consider grating? Okay, so if we have a grating, then we can't use the delta y equal to something because we don't have that equation for grating. So we can just use the d sine theta equals to n lambda, and we can find the theta first. But what is what do we interest here is the q, okay? Is the q, so we have to use the tangent to find the q, or geometrically, so we will find this value. If we convert to some units that we usually use, actually is twenty four point seven cm, okay? So you can see it's two point something mm versus twenty four cm, so. We can get the conclusion here. Okay, the distance of the second or the bright fringe to the center. Okay, from the central bright fringe. Okay, it is much larger. So as we have said in the previous、uh, part of this video, okay, this is the advantage of using the transmission grating. Okay, because we can observe it much clearly. Okay, for the separation. So this is why we use the grating instead of double slit.